Hi everyone, today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Ankita with us. Ankita, would you like to introduce yourself once? Hi everyone, my name is Ankita and uh, right now I'm working in Swiggy as an MIS executive. And previously I was in search operation team as well. So uh, I finished my graduation in Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science in the year 2014. And later on, I joined Tata Communication Limited. And uh, having an year gap of like five years, right now I converted myself into data science and uh, I'm working in Swiggy itself. All right. So right now you're working at Swiggy. And what was your career journey before this, you know, before you moved into Swiggy? Okay. So my career journey it started in the year 2014 itself, as soon as I completed my graduation. Uh, I joined Tata Communication Limited as a technical analyst engineer, associate only. And later on, after working for like 15 months, I left the job due to some uh, like family circumstances. And uh, after that, I started working as a teacher in a school, as a high school teacher. And later on, I uh, wanted to go to, I wanted to transition myself into IIT. So yeah, I joined data science group camp. Right, right, right. So what made you go for data science, you know, because we have so many options in IT, we have people go for web dev or Android. So what made you choose data science field? Okay, so basically I feel that there, uh, the uh, thing that is going on right now is all about data. Everywhere we are like dealing with the data itself. So I also had some experience and uh, like uh, my energy was into data only. I just wanted to know what actually uh, we do with this much, uh, this amount of data. So I came across uh, data science field and not basically entirely data science I was interested in, but I was interested in the part where we analyze the data. So from there, I wanted to, uh, I, gave, I gave a thought like I should go for a data analyst where I can just read the data, understand the data and uh, can take out some output from it so it was basically my uh, idea to understand and then i put the idea into my learnings understood understood so you know once you went into data science what were the projects that you worked on to get into the field like what were the projects that you made okay so there were various projects i worked on my idea was to not only work on projects but to understand the uh, process so one, uh, first I worked on SQL and uh, Power BI. For that, I worked on credit card uh, default prediction, which was like uh, I made it to uh, predict the like uh, how many people are use, uh, should use the credit card uh, properly or not. And they're eligible to use the credit, uh, credit card or not. Like that, I made it. And then the next one was uh, purely in ML. And uh, from there, I just uh, do the learning. It was not a like a lengthy product sorry project but it was a learning project so my main project was this credit card default prediction one right right understood and you know speaking of your uh, current job you're in swiggy which is a dream company for many right so how did you get the interview opportunity at swiggy okay so that was the turning point in my entire journey so i came across this uh, data science bootcamp from odin school and I saw one of their videos uh, in YouTube itself. And I got inspired by that lady that having an ear gap of like eight years, she started her journey again in the IT field. So somewhere I can relate my story to her also. So from there, I thought that why should not I also give a try to uh, this thing. And uh, I just went to their site website, Odin School's website. And I asked them uh, if I can... Uh, get a job after completing this uh, boot camp or not and they they told me there are many people that who are having this much of uh, like a year gap and now they are transitioning themselves to IT field so from there onwards I started preparing for data science itself and at last Odin school they provide a portal where we can uh, uh, like apply for various job roles and I got selected for Swiggy and uh, uh, then uh, there were the teachers like Balachandra sir was there he helped me uh, across this uh, interview, he helped me to uh, prepare for the interview and then I got selected for uh, Swiggy as an MIS. All right, nice, nice. So Odin School, basically you're saying that it helped you as a resource. So I wanted to know more about it. Like, how was it as a resource? You know, what was the content like? How were the placements and all? Okay, so uh, I feel that they provide you the end-to-end -end education in the field of data science. 
they will teach you all the subjects uh, one by one there will be a weekly classes saturday saturday and sunday which will be very comfortable for anyone to uh, take as it will be uh, easy for them to work uh, monday to friday and uh, study for like saturday saturday and sunday but for me it was not that much easy as i am a uh, mother of a child and i have to look after him and then i have to work also and then i have to study also so for me it was not that easy but they made it easy with the platform they have like we can practice various kinds of uh, coding uh, in their platform and uh, they have this recorded video classes if you, if i just forget to attend any of their classes we can get the re uh, video recordings and then they uh, then they have their doubt sessions where we can clearly ask our doubts then they have uh, this uh, placement team where we can just mail them our resume and we can ask them uh, if there is anything that is missing in our resume they will uh, clarify it and they will give the clarity also they will help us to prepare for the interview by giving us mock uh, interview there is a there is a separate platform where we can prepare for the interview itself and then there there were many assessments that we have to complete and uh, then they will give us the project i was not knowing about the project before what exactly the product uh, project is but later on uh, i come to know what what we do exactly in the project so they have this step by step uh, uh, thing they will tell all the things that what you have to do and how you have to do anywhere if we will feel that we are not getting it they just uh, they are just there to help us and apart from the data science there are many classes that boost our energy uh, that will give us more like life lessons and uh, they will help us to understand the industry so it is not all only about the learning it was it was more about the knowledge uh, that that i got from over yeah it was a overall package all right so after you got the interview opportunity at swiggy what was your interview experience like what was the interview process like okay uh, so my interview was not that difficult i would say but yes i prepared well for it i uh, prepared like for excel i prepared for sql and as well as python even though it was not mentioned but it was mentioned in my resume so i have to be prepared for it because we don't know that they can ask us any questions related to our project so basically uh, for the first round they just asked me to do the uh, excel they gave me an excel sheet and they asked me to perform various actions like uh, we look up use how you use we look up where you use x look up and uh, uh, everything and then they asked me about various queries the sql part was little bit uh, i can say uh, medium intermediate i can say because they asked me about the various types of join and uh, he asked me to write uh, a query and uh, then later on he asked me various questions like tricky questions like uh, uh, instead of using distinct how uh, we can go for how we can select the multiple values how we can remove the multiple values from the table like that and uh, some basic questions also they asked me like uh, order of execution what was the order of execution in this uh, sql so he provided me one code and he asked me to write the order of execution and uh, there were more questions related to sql itself and some basics from excel yeah, yeah that that's it that was uh, this only i had two rounds the third round was there for hr but uh, the it got skipped and uh, they didn't ask me anything related to any anything else like from hr part there was nothing i had only two rounds but for all the people who gave the same uh, interview they told me that they had three rounds the last one was also there but for me it was only two all right and this to them this way okay so you know on a final note what advice would you like to give to the people who are watching this podcast and who also want to crack you know a good company like swiggy they're looking to upskill themselves so what advice would you like to give them okay what i learned from my journey is that uh, we should never stop learning and we should not never give up uh, on anything and it's not only about odin school that you are taking the classes and you are sitting back and uh, waiting for the opportunities to come uh, you yourself also have to give some effort like i never stopped the uh, like practicing uh, sql or uh, i never stopped practicing the uh, uh, python also even though i am i'm just learning python i'm 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 having a basic skills in python but still i'm learning and still i'm giving interviews in various various other countries even though i'm having a good uh, position in swiggy itself 
but i feel that we should never stop that is the idea of what i'm using right now and uh, uh, yeah we should keep trying uh, here and there and talking about the mnc uh, i feel that even though if you you should decide whether you want uh, experience or you, you want some mnc company uh, where you can like get good salary so for me it was just getting knowledge so uh, it doesn't depend that i'm working in mnc or i'm working in any other uh, company i just wanted to gain knowledge i wanted to learn so that was the idea i was having and it worked for me so i think it would it will work for others also i also got inspired from a girl who was having an uh, um, like career gap of like 8 years so here i am with 5 uh, years of career gap and then i transitioned myself so yeah i think there are more people who can do this if they want it right right and that's some great advice right there you know that you should never stop learning so i think that goes pretty much everything about ankita's journey about how she overcame her career gap and cracked the dream company like swiggy so thanks a lot ankita for coming on my channel and sharing your journey and all of the resources that we have mentioned will be in the description box so make sure you check the description out So again thanks for watching and thanks Ankita for coming on the channel. Yeah thank you Ashish for giving me the opportunity.